Ukraine is one of the most popular country right now. But the reason why it's happening is quite sad, because we have a war in our country. Rockets flying, people dying. So anyway, what we want to do today for you is uh, present a video uh, with a bunch of cool games and apps about Ukraine. So you can... Uh, so you will know more about our country and we we'll hope you enjoy this video. Ukrainian Farmy Ukrainian Farmy is a really fun game. I mean, you don't need to kill people here, but what you will need to do is to steal different kinds of military transport from the Russians. And you will do it as a farmer. What's really interesting about all this, the game is based on the stories of real people. Because farmers in Ukrainian villages really did such heroic things. Українці взялися забирати техніку росіян після боїв із ЗСУ в Жанічину, хоча часто наявність живих окупантів наших селян теж не зупиняє. Anyway, the gameplay is quite simple. You just need to ride with the back of your tractor to a vehicle, grab it and deliver it to your home. Oh, one more thing, there will be bombardments during all this. If your tractor will be at full speed at the moment, you can easily get out of the situation. If not, it depends, and you will get a penalty in 10 seconds if you got hit. The game has quite good graphics and also physics. There can be some bugs from time to time, but they are not critical and even funny. If you want to do some serious things, you can find a direct link in the main menu of the game and donate to the Ukrainian army. Learn Ukraine This application will be interesting for people who do not live in Ukraine and for Ukrainians as well. Ukraine is a big country, we have many regions, and believe me, even the residents of Ukraine do not know the exact location of all of them. The game offers two options – guessing cities or areas. With the first mod everything is clear, and in the case of the second, the correct answer is counted if you get on the map within at least 50 km from the correct point. You can also set or not a time limit for guessing the right answers. English language was added recently, and in general everything is fine with the updates here. They are regular and with an eye to feedback from users. For example, at the beginning of the project some gamers noted that with the correct answer the victory effect was a bit like the explosion of a phosphorus bomb. For some this caused unpleasant associations and the developer promptly corrected this moment for a more neutral one. Good job, mate! Ukrainian Chicks Ukrainian Chicks is an NFT collection on the Ethereum platform, which consists of three drops – War Chicks, City Chicks and Folk Chicks. The first two have already been released to the public and the third one – oh, yep, it was dropped already too. The makers, of course, were inspired by Ukrainian women – brave, uncompromising and ready for anything in battle. A huge number of such people serve in the armed forces of Ukraine. And by the way, this is one of the moments that distinguishes us from the Russians. There are no women in their divisions, at least at those fighting in Ukraine. The characters are bright, sexy, slightly aggressive. All the money from sales of course goes on supporting the Ukrainian army for civilian needs for animals. And the creators already donated over $7,000 from their original collection of chicks. We will leave you a link in the description for it. 360 War in UA So this is quite a good project. Basically a website with a bunch of panoramas from a small town near Kyiv, where the main battle events were happening. Borodyanka, Ostomil, Irpin, Bucha. It's all here. All the images are presented in a really high quality and the navigation simple as well. 
you always have a map near you and can easily move from one location to another. If you will close up to a concrete location, you usually will see two types of symbols. One of them means the shot was taken from the ground, and another one from above. You can also make the image go on a full screen, and if you do nothing, the image will slightly rotate automatically, which is a cool feature as well. About the shots itself, well, this is war, guys, and war is nothing but madness and destruction. You will be able to see the full scale of it in these photos. Let's go to European for a few seconds. So, now you see a house, and for something about one year ago, me and my girlfriend, we were thinking about buying an apartment here. Now I'm not sure that somebody will ever live here. Thank you, Putin. One hundred days of war. This is another one, a really interesting website, which tells its visitors about the first 99 days of war. Yeah, the war already lasts for so long. And as we said earlier, the chronology is quite important in this case, and you got it all in one place. So you just open the exact day, and you can see all the key moments that happened that day. First it's text, but almost always you can find photo and video materials. Some of them were shot by the special military operation guys, so they are quite unique. The bad moment – no English language here. But yeah, photos and videos for your disposal, and they make it easy to understand what was going on on the first days. Russian warship, go fuck yourself. Oh, this is a good one. All events in this game happened on the mini island, where the famous incident, as the officials call it, occurred. <laughs> So you can play alone or even with your friend on the same keyboard. The primary goal is to sink the Russian warships or rather boats. They approach the island by the same directions, you can easily predict where to throw Molotov cocktails, but at some point there will be too many. Orcs will come ashore and then you have to use the flamethrower, unfortunately quickly overheats and you have to wait, which greatly complicates the gameplay. We would even say that the player is not on equal conditions compared to artificial intelligence. Aiming is also not very convenient. In general, the game has an interesting idea, but the makers could have done more. But maybe we don't need to be so mad. This game was made by two school kids, and this explains everything. <laughs> 